Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoime and I'm the director of social media for Bon Vitel and also founder of Massage Nerd. And today we have Benjamin, welcome, and Cliff. Hi. Hi, welcome. Thank you. So how'd you guys get involved in massage then? So we got involved about a year ago with Masa Mio and okay. one of the first things we did was meet all the people in the industry. So Jan Schwartz is one of the first people that got us started and really the company is all around connecting massage clients with massage therapists in the easiest way possible. And so we came at it from a client perspective. I'm a longtime user of massage therapy. I'm not a massage therapist, but we teamed with really awesome, talented massage therapists and, and built the company. Okay, and what about you? Well, I'm a physician. Okay. So my interest in Masamito came from two different angles. The first one was having been a healthcare provider myself and realizing that you go through a series of, well, a training program that really gives you the tools to practice a modality. Um, and oftentimes that leaves you completely unprepared for business success. So we'll my, <laughs> my dream was to create a tool that can help massage therapists be successful in their businesses without all of the endless expense and hassle that goes from not understanding it from the, from the get-go, with, without having to learn it as you go and potentially sacrifice your business. And what I notice with massage therapists, a lot of times halfway in the program they might have a business class, yes. but then when they graduate, I mean, there's a big gap there and then they lose all that stuff. There's too. a huge yeah. gap. And I personally think that it's even more of a high stakes game for massage therapists than it is for physicians yep. because um, the, you have to build your own clientele and, and go, go really uh, as, a, as a sole entrepreneur into a field that you're really ill equipped to, to deal with. Yep. So Masamio is all about providing those tools in the absolute easiest way possible to give people a platform that they can get those clients and build their businesses with extremely low overhead and, and be successful. Yeah. And I think the biggest shock too um, for students is a lot of them are working hourly jobs and they're getting hourly wage all the time and yeah. they go into massage and a lot of times it might be commission and everything else or they're renting a room and right. it's just like a little bit right. of a shock to them. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's exactly right. Yeah. You really need an MBA really to start a business, your own business. and. It's, it's tough to know all the pieces you must put into place to be successful. And the statistic I heard was 50% of massage therapists leave the industry within two years. And it's because it's so tough to do all that stuff. And, yep. and so, you know, for me, I'm a small business advocate. I love small business. And um, that's what really got me excited about it because these are awesome people doing awesome work that benefit the entire society. But so many are challenged by the business end hassles. And we said, look, there's technology. You know all about it. And there are a lot of different tools that we can utilize. But putting them all into places, uh, you know, here's one, here's another. We, we said there's one, one practice management solution, a hassle-free one. And so that's our goal is to just make it really easy. One go-to place to handle all your online booking, your business management solution. We're doing a, a new charting tool with Diana Thompson, so it'll be easy oh, to have an online yeah. charting tool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's the other piece of it for, uh, for me as a physician, yeah. is recognizing that allopathic medicine provides a certain set of interventions to deal with disease, but it's not very good at preventive medicine, and it's not very good at filling in the gaps with other modalities. Yeah. So take someone that has back pain or knee pain, you start with physical therapy and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories and rest and elevation, and the next thing is knee replacement. Well, there's this huge in-between area that is often neglected. So creating something where physicians can have a go-to place where they can identify professional massage therapists and hopefully refer to them, build those massage therapy business, and then demonstrate better patient outcomes is a win-win for everybody, yep. especially the client. And um, do you get into other modalities too, um, like spa, industry, and stuff too, or is it just basically massage right now? Or? We're focused exclusively yeah. on massage right okay. now, but our vision, our long-term vision is really to empower all of those small healthcare delivery professionals, whether it's massage therapists or chiropractors yep. or other areas of integrative medicine that need that uh, resource to help them connect with referring healthcare providers and with clients in a more powerful way. Yep. And um, over, the, what do you see in the future and stuff with your company? How do you see it growing and stuff? Well, our, our goal is to focus 
singularly on the independent massage therapist right now. We believe that by bringing everybody together, we all benefit more. Mm -hmm. And so we're focused right now on that market. Eventually, our, our goal is to be a, a really big player in the massage industry and help move the profession in the direction like a lot like Biotone and like Bone Vital and like um, Massage Envy and a lot of the other players and and just be an integral part of the community that's progressing the industry. Cliff brings a really unique perspective to Masa Mio, which is the healthcare component. And you know, we we see massage therapy as playing more and more of a role in wellness. Mm -hmm. um, and we want to be one of those players that helps bridge the broader healthcare arena and massage therapy in an easy way for everybody. Yeah, yeah definitely. Because, I, again, I hate seeing massage therapists leave the field. I right. mean, I'm, right. I mean, I taught for right. 11 years, and then I, less than half the students right. um, that I've taught over the years and stuff right. are still in it. Right. And they're so skilled, too. It's right. just, like, so sad. To <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and yeah. so yeah. what's the main reason? It's the main reason, I'd say, money. Yeah. And then the yeah. second one right. is physical because of burnout yeah. or something like that, injuries yeah. Yeah. or something. Yeah. Sarah Caffiero is our vice president and massage therapist herself for 13 years. She told a beautiful story that exemplifies to me what we are trying to do. And she said she was passionate about massage therapy when she got in. But there were two years where she would go, there would be weeks that would go by and she would give maybe a couple massages. And she said there were weeks where she would eat tomato soup for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because she couldn't afford anything else. And, you know, that's kind of our goal is, like, throw the tomato soup out, you know, from yep. the beginning. Let's let's all work together in a way that helps everybody succeed. Yeah. And it seems like massage therapists in general are kind of isolated, too, in general, when they get out in the field. Cause, so, I mean, if they could be more of a group, right. um, yeah. communicate yeah. with other people, and especially yeah. run ideas off each other, right. too, would be awesome. Yeah. And so that's yeah. really our vision. It's, yeah. it's your vision. It's the vision of a lot of people. Yeah. Um, it's bringing everybody together so we all benefit together more. And, you know, it, so we can spread massage therapy more. The more hands out there working, doing massage therapy, we believe the better the world will be. Yeah. And so we want to be one of the players that help empower that. And how did you guys come up with the name? Masa Mio? Yeah. <laughs> so, I know, we actually went through this incredibly long process of list of names this big yeah. <laughs> and it's tough um, but Cliff is the one that came up with it and we joke that it, in Italian it means health and wellness for all um, but, <laughs> but it, it's actually yeah. one of those names we made up we believe it's a name that you can cuddle with and fall in love with and um, so masa in Spanish means do mio means my and so it's being a little playful as well. Okay. Using the word massage. But, you know, there's a practical aspect of it, too. Yeah, but it kind of flows off your mind. It flows yeah, off your yeah, tongue. Yeah, yeah. And it, it grows on you a little bit. But the yeah. reality is that in today's high-tech world, yeah. it's difficult to come up with a business name that matches a web domain. Yep. Yeah. And so we really struggled for a long time to figure out what name for a business would resonate with my massage, Masa Mio, and yet still be available and rememberable when someone actually goes to type it into a search engine. Yep. And with myself, um, the massage nerd. One of my students called me that back in the day, and I just I checked the next day for the domain and got it. So. You got it right there. Yeah. Exactly. So they made up my decision for me. We so. love your name. I just saw the card. It's, yeah. it's awesome. And Thanks. You do so many incredible things. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and I saw an um, interview. I remember um, for with uh, Michael Reynolds. Right. Yep, yeah. I remember seeing that a yeah. while ago. Yeah. yeah. In, in yep. Portland, Oregon, and you know, our story is, you know, kind of a, a lot like many massage therapists. We came at this industry and, you know, we're new business owners, so we struggled a lot as well. Um, and we've come through and now we have an awesome website that we intend to keep building and getting better and better, but, you know, it's been a process of, of growth and discovery ourselves yeah. as well. And they can keep getting support from you guys then too, yeah. how does that work? Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. we've built a cost structure that is really incredibly minimal and offers okay. a robust 
set of services. Everything from online personalized uh, profile and website with video support and pictures to online scheduling so that clients That's can book directly nowadays. with you. That's huge You've got to do online scheduling, and it seems. You <laughs> really do. And yeah. then we're partnering with some of the leaders in the industry. Um, we mentioned Diana Thompson, yeah. who we're working with hopefully by in the next three to six months to have a really robust mobile charting tool that's actually going to serve as an electronic health record for massage therapists yep. to be able to track client progress. Is there anything you're not going to do? If, well, <laughs> if, if it helps people succeed in yeah. business, independent therapists succeed in business, we're there. Yep. I mean, cause So they that, can make recommendations well, of other things they that, might want to add. And that's exactly right. Yep. There's going to be a component of online reviews that really enhances the, the word of mouth yep. that really normally drives massage therapy, but at the same time, it's going to be magnified by the power of social yep. media and fully integrated into the website. Do you, do you have anything to do with um, helping with newsletters, those kind of things too, collecting emails so they can send out those things? or All of those things are being addressed in some oh, way, shape, or form. Okay, good. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really yeah. is going to serve, you know, speaking at it from a physician's perspective, it's going to really serve as an electronic health record or an electronic medical record for massage therapists yep. to manage every aspect of the practice um, from identifying and scheduling clients to follow through to finances, streamlining, billing. Well, finances and, and everything, too. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the charges are really uh, super yeah. easy. It, it really minimizes the, the headache of, yeah. of collecting money and um, streamlines it with credit card payments so that it's yeah. really and you easy. you have an app now, then, or are you working on it, then? We're working on the okay. mobile app, which okay. actually is featured on our on our materials, okay. but it should be up and running by the end of, by, the, year. By the, end yeah. of the year, for okay. sure. So we're going in phases right now. We are focused on having an awesome professional directory for a massage therapist. All therapists are required to be licensed and insured, and that's how we're going to distinguish ourselves. In August, we're going to have the online booking tool, and over the fall, we're going to be um, rolling out our healthcare, um, uh, electronic health care tool with Diana and, on the mobile app. Yeah, and one question I had, um, I'm from a state that's not regulated. How do you okay. deal with that then, because in Minnesota? Yeah. We, uh, we follow the lead of AMTA. Okay. And so if you are required in your jurisdiction to be licensed or however your credentialing is, we're going to okay, follow so that. Okay, so go by that then, okay. Um, all therapists are required to be trained appropriately. We require um, documentation of that. And uh, but we do follow the guidelines of AMT. Yeah. And then one word that describes massage: go. Love. Health. Aww. <laughs> 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 so, again, the easiest way for them to get a hold of you is, you want to spell it out just to make sure that... <laughs> Masamio.com, yep. it's M-A-S-S-A-M-I-O. We'd love for you to check us out. Okay. Thank it's you, been a Ryan. pleasure. Thank it's you. Pleasure. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. A lot. Yep. thanks. <laughs>